Hi, in this lesson we're going to show you how to play the uh, grid for A major and F sharp minor. Go ahead and grab your music sheet. This is the grid scale pattern for A major and uh, F, F sharp minor. And tune up ukulele, come on back. Okay, so you, um, you got your music sheet. We're going to talk about the A major grid. <clears throat> More, mo, most importantly, you at this point you have a good understanding about the uh, family of chords and how it relates to the grid. So in other words, we're going to be picking chords off the family of chords to show you that uh, basically in the grid, if you're playing the some of the chords of the family of chords, just a bit. Uh, if you say it again, if we're playing chords out of the family of chords, any of these notes are going to work. So we're going to show you some combinations of what notes to play. Keep in mind for the key of A major, you got three sharps. This is how your signature looks. If sharps are F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Okay. So before we get started, um, you need a fairly good understanding about all the lessons that led up to this in the series of A major. So in the series, so in the lessons, there's about, I, I, I forget how many lessons there are, but there's there's several lessons, either seven or nine lessons in just the key of, of uh, A major. Every every key, every scale pattern has a bunch of lessons. For this one, what I'm trying to say is this, you need to have understood all the lessons leading up to this, okay? If not, you just want to stop here, go back to where you, you're kind of weakened, that you need a little bit more work on, do that first, then come back to this lesson. That being said, <clears throat> um, I'm going to play, uh, let's see here, chords out of the family of chords. So I might, I'm going to play whatever comes to my mind. I'm going to say A, we're going to start with A, and then, uh, you know, I'll play, well, you got your paper in front of you, I'm going to play chords out of the family of chords at random, and you're going to see the notes that I play are going to are the notes out of the grid and they're going to work. Uh, the, the skill pattern that I'm going to stick with, not stick with, but uh, start off with, will be out of the first position from the, I, I, just, I believe I discussed this in the previous tutorial, it's from the Phrygian mode, but it starts from your, your C sharp. Okay, but it also includes um, uh, the D note. Okay. So, so I'm going to go from C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, and occasionally maybe I may add a D in there, okay? Here we go. A, the one chord. Six minor, F sharp minor. Four, D. Five, seven. Here we go with the first position, C sharp D. Slide and vibrato again. Slide, vibrato. Six, minor. Second string with the F sharp to G sharp. To A, vibrato, back to the A. Four chord D. B, C sharp, D. Down. Vibrato, back to the one. So as you can see, every note that I played fit, okay? And let's say I'm gonna just maybe do some random things. So uh, what I'm gonna do, start off with is, is go up, open A, B, C sharp, B, A. Then I'll go, let's see. Um, C sharp, B, A. F sharp. Same thing. D. A. Okay, now let's go pattern within that first position.
So sliding and vibratos will work pretty good. Hammer-ons and pull-offs. That's a two minor, B minor, six minor, F sharp minor, to a four, D, five, seven, E seven, little open leg. Back to the one chord. So all of that, all of that, that I did, all those techniques were, were covered already. For instance, so I did uh, uh, A, C sharp, pull off to a B, and then pull off to an A. Okay? Or you can play the notes. Or uh, pulling off. Okay? And if you do pretty fast, you can just kind of just pluck it once and just pull it off. You can also do the pulling offs and with, with your, just your fingers and, and no playing. I'll show you what I mean, see? But you're gonna have to build up some dexterity. A good practice for that would, might be something like this. Uh, on, pull off. Okay, and as you get comfortable, all you can do is, is you can pluck it for emphasis. You pluck, it's a little louder, and then pull it off. Pluck it again, or pull it off. So once you got it with a pluck, basically as long as you, the dexterity is in your fingers, it'll all sound kind of loud and even. Okay, and utilizing the scale, let's say I slide to the I'll say fourth fret with a C sharp, D, E. Come back down, E, D, C sharp, B, and then back to the C sharp, D, C sharp, D. So this is um, D, pull off, C sharp, B. D, pull off, C sharp, B. See how all, all the notes fit? D, six minor, E7. Let's do that lick one more time. A. And if you want to go higher up the fretboard, A. So all the notes basically fit in. As you work on your scale pattern, six minor, two minor, B minor, coming down with is half a scale. So what you can do um, is start to make up your own scale patterns and melodic lines and um, experiment with them. See what sounds good to you. Keep the ones that sounds good, discard the ones that don't, and um, use your blank template that I showed to you in the previous tutorials to make up your own scale patterns. So in other words, print out, print out this template. as many as you want and create your own uh, scale patterns okay uh, write down the notes you, if you don't want to put the letter of the notes just put the dots put, put like little dots or X's on the notes that you're going to be playing so you can uh, start making up your own scale patterns
And as, uh, as you get more creative and experiment more, you'll find that you'll start to make up uh, your own melodies. Uh, what a lot of people do, or learners, students, they listen to um, their favorite artists or bands or groups and there's maybe certain licks or, or notes or scales that are played in a certain song that really catches your ear or catches your attention and you try to recreate that and you can take that as your own and elaborate that a little bit more to make your own melodic lead lines. Okay, so that being said, um, once again, you, uh, you want to keep in mind that the family of chords works in conjunction with the, the entire grid. So in other words, by playing chords out of the family of chords, uh, these notes will work. Okay, they work together. As you veer off the family chords, uh, some notes might not work as much and you're going to need a little bit more theory knowledge to make those uh, ventures into that category of playing. But for now, stick to what, what you've learned and covered until you really get a grasp. And as you get a, a, a strong understanding, you can slowly start to branch off into other directions. Uh, there's another course that we offer about uh, chord construction, and that's understanding how chords are made. In other words, uh, uh, in this key, uh, the, the, the one chord, the A major chord, is made up of A, C sharp, E. That's your one chord. So you, those notes, A, C sharp, E, you can play a uh, melodic lead line and then end up on, the, on one of those notes and you will have a strong finality to the end of that melodic line or that melodic phrase. So those are some things uh, that you can think about. More advanced players uh, play around the chord because it really uh, brings the, the melody or the note back to the, the feeling of the key that we're playing in. Okay, with that being said, back up the tutorial, give this a, a try, another try, uh, try to get a really good understanding of this, especially since we introduced the, uh, the family of modes, excuse, yeah, the, the, the modes that are scales within a scale. That's if you're headed in that direction and you want to learn that, but if not, no problem. Just learn the grid, because the grid covers all the modes anyway, so learn the grid. And in conjunction with your family cores, stick with that until you really, really get a strong understanding on how they both work together. So stay with that before you start moving on into uh, more exploratory areas. Okay, so when you're ready for the next lesson, we'll see you then.